My name is Drew Alexander Ford, and I am a second year master's viola performance major. <laughs> the thing about the viola is that it's so much like the human voice, and I think when you can pull beauty from that, there's just, it's just so much more fulfilling for me. I generally just wake up to my iPhone alarm. I love to snooze. I go straight to the fridge. I just try to get some fruit in me. And then I check my social media. I check my YouTube, I check my Instagram, my Facebook, and I answer all the comments. Doing the social media, doing all of these different things, it's teaching me how to be an effective teacher and really convey a message that not only motivates people but inspires them to then shoot for what they want. On the way to the subway, I may Snapchat some of my followers, I'll start a Snapchat story, try to do something inspirational, or I'll end up listening to podcasts. And I listen to those, I try to feed my brain, get it activated before I go through the front doors. I practice trying to warm up my body. I start with my scales. And then I go ahead and tackle the repertoire that I need done for the day. There is structure. You have classes, you have the schedule. You also have chamber music and orchestra rehearsals. But every day is different if you choose it to be. It's fantastic. We get to work with amazing conductors like Maestro Noseda. They don't look at us as students. They look at us as young professionals. I study with Heidi Castleman. I, I had known about her for about seven, eight years before I'd even decided to audition. The explosive pulses, more attention is on the release that happens after that. And then I go to Lunch and Learn. It's a service through the career services, and they provide mentors and speakers to come and speak with us on entrepreneurial topics, things you should think about while you're in school and where to go once you've left. And then after that, I have a class called Understanding the Profession, which is so important because in the 21st century, like if you don't go into an orchestra, how do you make money as a musician? And then after that, I have an independent study class, and it's with music technology, so using interface programs like Logic and Ableton, and figuring out how to take what we do as musicians and make it a product for people to consume. And the possibilities are limitless. I find that although I learn so much from my teachers, in studio classes, in the lunchroom, on the way to class, on the way to going and grabbing some dinner, I'm learning much more from my colleagues. Sometimes there's this notion that I can't play with them, they're too good. No, everybody's like, come on, the more the merrier. Let's go play some music, let's go make an experience and let's learn from each other. I have a Gluck Fellowship and that means I get to perform in alternative venues where you wouldn't usually see classical music being performed, like hospices, hospitals, uh, elderly residences, and centers for at-risk youth. And these concerts are always, they always really reaffirm why I do what I do. And that's why every day is so different. That's why every day is filled with joy.